Uh, I want to get your breakdown on it and predictions if I can. Uh, Patebiev and Bivol. Ooh, I, I'm gonna say I love, uh, I love Bivol. But I also like you to be. I think I think Bivol would be hitting for anybody, including B to B. B to B I I I'm picking B to B only because of its punching power. Anybody else like talk about you know talk about the, uh, David uh, moving up the call. David uh, Benavides. Benavides, yeah. Who's the heading? I pick Benavides before with Benavides. I love Benavides. I love Benavides. But I pick before. anybody else. Anybody else except Benavides. But Benavides is one of his guys. Seems like go through a brick wall. I, I just. I don't know. Yeah, I just I just wrote a, I just last night or two nights ago finished a column for Ring Magazine <laughs> about that fight and about how it stacks up historically with other great light heavyweight fights and what it means to the division. And, you know, what I essentially what I wrote in there was that uh, we live in an era where the, the former light heavyweight division in the 80s and 70s was the greatest ever for that division. And we see these great fights all the time. We don't see that all the time now. So this fight benefits from that. But as I pointed out, if you took these two guys, if you took uh, Betterbeev and Bivol and threw them back in the 70s and 80s with all those great light of a heavyweights around, trust me, they'd be vying for championships. Yeah. They'd be right there. You know, they'd be right there with Marvin Johnson and, yeah. and Mustafa Muhammad and Michael Spinks yeah. and White Cowie. They'd be right there because that's how good they are. And, and that's why I think this fight is so special. And the other small point I'd make is, you know, Ray said better be if he thinks he might win the fight. And, and that's certainly conceivable. It's a 50-50 fight. One thing people kind of discount with better be of is they think he's just a puncher. He's a very t yeah. sound technician in the ring as yeah. well. Yes, he is. You don't get hit a lot in punches. No. He, you know, he knows how to move. He knows distance. But going back to what El said, He's right. These guys are going to fight. There are certain fighters that are generational fighters. Yeah. Not many of them now, but there are certain ones. Not saying they've been as successful, but they no, could have competed. They but been, they could have competed. They would have been competing and won a title here and there. Yeah. And like all those guys, yeah, maybe right. lost one or right. two. But yeah. yeah because they always talk about the 70s, yeah, you know, that was 80s. Made the best stuff. Like, but there's certain guys that are generational fighters could have fought in, in those areas. Mm -hmm. Not saying they would have been as successful. Don't know. But they, but they could have competed. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and, that, and they, I was right about that.